Well, it's time for our Sunday specials now. Tankers and containerized trucks continue to convert Lagos roads and bridges to illegal parks as several efforts to dislodge them have all failed. Ifunanya Eze reports that the menace of haulage trucks in Lagos State appears to have gone beyond control. Long queues of haulage trucks and tankers have become a permanent fixture as one drives through Ikorodu Road, Western Avenue and the bridge linking Echo Bridge and Ijora Bridge onto Wharf Road in Apapa. The same obtained from the Sonia Amuwa Dolphin to Maltu Beggar access of the Osho de Apapa Expressway approach to Tinkan Island Port. The concentration of immobile vehicles on these roads has become a source of untold hardship to commuters and residents on daily basis. The highway is so congested that motorists find it near impossible to drive through. The development has been aggravating traffic situation around the access and continues to threaten the safety of road users. It is a very big problem for Lagosians and I think that government should just be, do something very, very fast about it because it is crippling many businesses. We are not talking about what is going on in Apapa. What is going on in Apapa is also spreading. And before you know it, the whole Lagos is affected. So government needs to really take an urgent action to address this problem. There is actually the need to have a truck park where most of these vehicles should be until they are needed inside the port because most of them are heading to the port. From whichever way you look at it, I think I want to put the blames on the Nigerian Post Authority management and of course the Lagos State Government. All we need is automation. Truck, track all the trucks that have business to do. If the government is a government that is proactive, this is a money spinning thing. Because if you don't have any business going to pick up cargo and you know that your truck cannot get into the terminal, so why stand on the bridge? So if I say one hour, after one hour, I will begin to, begin to compute. So if people are made to pay for their negligence, because, I mean, the, the situation will not be, we'll get to this level. The leadership of the Hollage Trucks Association says this problem may not be going away anytime soon until appropriate measures are taken to install an automated call-up system for trucks. If there is nothing to regulate this movement of trucks, then we cannot achieve the expected sanity. What am I saying? Let there be automation. Automation that will inform the owner of the truck, the driver of the truck, even the traffic machine on the road, of the truck that are supposed to be on the road. A present situation where all these trucks are just coming all the same time to the same direction is not the best. The seeming hopeless situation has also impacted port operations and trading. The Nigeria Customs Service says that although it has been recording increased revenue from exports and import duty payments, it maintains that remittances to the nation's treasury could be more if post infrastructure were repaired. Operators who are supposed to deliver their cargoes within 24 hours will have to spend seven days, you know, after the consignment have been released by customs, you know, trying to get the vehicles that can take this. And even if they get the vehicle, the access roads are sometimes impossible to this. So you can see it's rather retarding the turnaround, you know. Expectedly, what, when you are supposed to have delivered within one week and the, the meals in the industries are running and turning, you see, what we have is uh, it takes seven days. So if you take the ratio of one day to seven days, it means if you are dividing that by seven, it's really affecting so we believe if these infrastructures and other factors are put in place, definitely there will be improvement in our conditions. The Tinkan Island Truck Park, currently under construction, is lingering. Many are the view that it should be used as a transit park to drive an automated truck management system. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.